hello my ntmp welcome to this beautiful video of this rose petal you've seen all over because guys we are going to be doing something that has to do with replenishing of your hair to nourish your hair give your hair sheen healthiness and super uh, you know hair growth okay so guys welcome to my channel my name is joy what i do here is diy hair growth hair care and skincare product i hope this is what you are interested in and if that is so please subscribe to my channel to your notification bell on in case of any new video so in today's video my first ingredient is coconut oil and my vegetable glycerin this stuff they are so uh, great when it comes to helping your dry hair out you know to tam it to make your hair to come that sheen most especially if you use this stuff for twist out if you use it for let me say uh, when you want to make a corn roll or any kind of hairstyle this creaming uh you know like a greasy like a hair balm whatever form you want to use this stuff guys you are good to go and now after pouring my coconut oil and my vegetable glycerin into this jug i'm just going to use my hand mixer to make it come that creamy i mean that's uh you know creamy like a icy cream if you know icy cream guys this is what is going to turn up to become after mixing it with my hand mixer so just go ahead and do that until you get that creamy consistency like so you can see that guys you can also use it in this form on its own but you know what i love something that is so nutritious i don't know you if you do guys i love nutritional you know uh stuff so now i'm going to just pour in my rose pizza now i'm going to blend it um, along with my uh, coconut and vegetable uh, glycerin i already you know mix so in that case i'm going to get it that fluffy and smooth uh you know uh stuff with this rose pizza guys just continue to blend and blend it's not going to come out that smooth but we just need to mix uh this rose pizza inside to have that benefit from the rose because we want our hair because with this weather we are our hair will go freezing and dry because we are in between weather so after that i will come back with my bow pour everything inside like you are seeing me doing so the next stage you can see the consistency it's not that smooth but what i needed is for me to be able to get the benefit you know from this rose petal because rose petal help to condition your hair it helps to tam freezing and replenish your hair against dryness damage and you know it helps to treat coarse hair if you have that coarse hair it helps to also you know treat your coarse hair so i just went ahead to put it inside my hot water like so just give it a stir and after that we are just going to cover and not to allow the heat from the water to heat it up so right now guys i just removed the cloths and this is how it comes the, the coconut oil melts okay which it has to do so with the hot water so right now this is my hibiscus uh, flour powder i'm including hibiscus flour powder because guys because of the amino acid inside hibiscus flour uh it helps to also condition your hair it helps to nourish your hair that well to also treat your hair follicle it makes your hair to strengthen you know it helps to strengthen your hair i mean to say to uh, you know grow your hair that healthy and longer hibiscus flower is amazing really guys amazing when you want to grow your hair i love hibiscus flower that way if you want to see um another video i have making the leave in and rinse that conditioner i'm going to link it up here so i just went ahead to give it to stir it to um help the old stuff to bind wear together because this stuff is so so good as a living guys if you use this on if you have low porosity hair guys use this and use your leave-in conditioner on top now i'm going to come in with with my um msm guys i always made a mistake pronouncing this stuff because last time i, I said sms which is you know sms the message you you <laughs> guys thank you for one of my subscribers that correct me okay this is msm powder 
apart from it will help to make this soft not alight not to oxidize i mean it will protect it from oxidizing if i make sense so now after stirring i'm going to just set it aside just cover it to still you know be warming now i'm going to come in with is my palm oil butter okay so i love palm oil butter i'm going to link wherever uh you know to get this stuff and you are going to make this your make this cream guys you are going to give me your feedback please give me your feedback okay so i went ahead to add my bee wax and my emulsifier i'm adding emulsifier because there is uh you know glycerin so guys i also added my uh, rose sheep oil okay which is also an uh, antioxidant and vitamin E. So I cover it to sit. So right now in this, my other uh, jog, I'm going to come in with my rose petal, hibiscus flower and the, you know, uh, my msm if i don't if that makes sense guys correct me which i mix in here i'm just going to pour it into this my sifa to separate and collect only the liquid guys don't be scared the way you see the color is looking you guys know that uh hibiscus is that reddish and it looks somehow okay we don't want to mention that so if you have that if you are picking or seeing something red please guys i hope you just turn your eyes away from here otherwise watch okay so that's it so i just finish up you know uh same uh, that's separating the the uh, uh, that's the residue from the liquid which i am interested in guys check out this color i love red color okay and check it out guys so so amazing that we are able to get that red color of a hibiscus now i've come in with my uh, oil phase which is my my palm oil my emulsifier and my bee wax with my rose sheep oil okay now guys i'm just doing something stupid a little bit here right now because this bowl is too small for me to stir if not it will go out with the oil so i have to you know return it back into the jug which is more spacious and more high for me to work it out so now guys the next thing for you to do is to start to just give it a stale after you know you have it in a comfortable a uh, jog your bowl whatever you need to just work it out by keep on stirring so as you're stirring this stuff by the time it gets cool it's going to turn creamy it's going to turn creamy and thick okay so in that case this is how you are going to have it by the time you, it come to a stage that you found that it's okay then you can pour it to a jar because it's going to solidify not that solidify hard it's going to look creamy it's going to look like grease okay after uh that's it has cooled down so right now i'm going to come in with my uh orange essential oil this is optional this is option you can use uh any type of essential oil you are using personally or uh, you know uh, uh, particularly okay so meanwhile after that i just went ahead to pour it into this my jar where i will be using it from guys i love this color i don't know if you i love this color this color of hibiscus is what always give me i don't know that's the look of i don't know that natural herba red herba stuff so right now guys i'm going to just you can use it to twist your hair as i said before as you can see the consistency after it has cooled out okay so this is it it's so creamy and it doesn't stain anything it doesn't stain your skin it doesn't stain your body it doesn't stain your hair so just apply after spraying water on your hair or any leave-in conditioner you use it like you use uh grease you use whatever thing guys this stuff is so uh replenishing to your hair if you have damaged hair dry hair freezing hair you know just use it like so you are going to find when you lose out your twist you are going to find your hair will be so so sheen and beautiful so that's it so this is it guys 
so i hope you love this video if you do please don't forget to subscribe if you've not and you know what share this video thank you for watching god bless you as usual bye bye